Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I am here with a tutorial on how to make your own tall portfolio. This is a portfolio that also has its own journal, it has hidden tuck spots, it has pockets full of ephemera, and so what I'm going to do is walk you through this entire process and I am actually videotaping this introduction after I filmed the whole thing so ho hopefully you can stick with me I'm, I am actually editing the whole thing so that hopefully it doesn't take forever to get through as well so there'll be sections that I may have cut out hopefully I can make this all one short video so let's get on with it. The first thing you'll need are two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock, the, the large pieces that you would use to make um, like scrapbooks. So that's the first thing you'll need. I also will have linked below your list of what you need as well as dimensions. So without further ado, let's get going. Um, so I've got some stuff here for collaging, but what you'll need is actually two, these are 12 by 12 sheets of paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to ink one and we're going to collage the other. And today I'm experimenting with the Tim Holtz Distress Collage Medium. So this was one of the things I wanted to try out. And I have several things here for collaging. I printed on just regular 20 pound uh, paper. It's the hammer mill, so it's the acid free, but I went ahead and printed all of this on that. So there's that piece and this piece and this piece that we'll be using to collage. Along with, I have, this is just some black paper that I have left over. I have just a tiny bit of music paper. Um, I actually even have, this is in late 1800s French book, so we may throw some French down. And then I also have stamps that will do some stamping after we're done with the collaging, and then we're going to move into the inking. And so collaging, really, there isn't a huge science to it. You kind of sort of just start putting things down and you do layers until you're happy with it. Now, we will be using the entire... Um, 12 by 12 piece so we're not going to cut this down at all I'm going to just scrape all of this medium off of this for now and put it all back in here that's more than what I probably need and I've heard from people that this is really awesome stuff to work with so I am going to one of the things with this black paper is it's actually black that has been printed on white paper so any tearing that I want to do, I need to tear away or else you get see the white. And that's not horrible, it's just not what I want. So I'm just going to start in the corner. I don't know, I'm one of those people who I like to start in the corner. And we're just going to throw some collage medium down. And we're going to stick a couple of pieces of the black paper down and if it sticks a little bit over the edge that's okay because you're going to come back and trim everything off so I recommend so you don't end up with white edges that you go ahead and stick all the way off the edge so you can see that I'm sticking off the edge a little bit there I can see where it's come unstuck here so I'm going to restick all that and then a lot of people I see do this. I'm going to try this. I don't know that this black is, um, you know, it's not going to come off on everything, but I think I'm okay. All right, so I have now collaged that down, and you can see it's starting to pucker right here, which tells me I didn't get enough glue on the underside there. So I'm just peeling that back up. We're going to smooth that down. There, now that's all smooth. And then I think I'm going to take some of this, and I've actually cut this with some decorative scissors. I'm going to grab those scissors again because that is a fun decorative edge. And I think I'm going to just do a couple of long strips like this in the middle. So we're going to throw just a long piece there. And 
just going to keep going with this. And I'm just going to do a little bit of this for you and show you a little bit of the process. And then we're going to probably um, just go back and I will probably not talk at you the whole time. I'm going to, through the magic of being able to do a little bit of editing, I'm learning how to do some film editing that I can uh, actually do some film editing and speed this up a little bit. But I want to show you this first little bit. So I've got some black, I've got some that. Let's do some some pieces of just some book page. Oop, I'm not sure what that is. That looks like a piece of book page. So I'm just going to start putting this medium down and throwing down some pieces of paper. And then um, once we get some of this down, we're going to grab some of those collage pieces that are um, from the printables. Because I kind of sort of want those to be on the top, not underneath. And let's see, I did that one. Did I do that one? I don't know if I did that one. So it's important to go back over everything with your collage medium and seal things. And here's one of the other things. Again, it's, there's no, don't try to be perfect with this. Just kind of throw things wherever you feel like you've got holes and then you can fill your holes in later. So I'm actually gonna do that vertically because it's probably mostly all going to get covered up anyway once we start tearing some of this. So now we're gonna tear into some of the bees and I'm just going to tear this edge off. Let me set that down. I just wanna tear this edge off because I don't want any perfect edges anyway. And again, because this was printed on white paper, when you tear it away, you can see those white edges. Some people like those white edges, um, but I think that for me, I just, oops, I'm going the wrong way. See there, I think it went the wrong way, and that's okay, because we can go back and fix that. Let's do a little bit like that and let's do a little bit like that there we go now I've got some pieces and let's just start layering over on this side so bees I, the bees I do want to have go a direction not just any old way so I grabbed some of that um, let's do I love these really big bee pieces so I am definitely going to cut, tear these pieces out and leave them whole. I kind of want to get that whole piece in there. So I think I'm actually going to put this piece all the way down here on this corner. Let's see how far up that goes. And we're going to kind of go over the edge like that and I am going to need more collage medium by the time we're done oh I like that um, I'm going to throw a couple more pieces of some black down in here because I really love the black and I want to include some more of that and so I'm going to throw a couple more pieces of black in here I'm gonna throw some black right in here. And don't worry, I don't know if you can see, but the um, this is starting to wrinkle a little bit because the collage medium is a water base. Don't worry about that. When it dries, it'll all go flat again. There we go. All right, so I've got some more black there and I think, I think I'm going to just throw one more piece of black kind of in the middle here and I'm not going to worry about this getting torn because it's going to get covered. I can almost guarantee you it's going to get covered. 
So I'm just going to stick that there. It's not even straight. I'm not going to worry about that. So collage medium is not real hugely different from um, Mod Podge. They're very similar, uh, but they do slightly different things. And I think what I like about the collage medium is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot thicker than, um, than, um, than your Mod Podge. Um, well, because this looks kind of directional, I am going to stick that off the top there, but I am going to put that up in the corner and do that. So I said I wasn't going to talk through all of this, but I'm actually going fairly quickly, so I am not going to worry too much about talking through a lot of what I'm doing. Um, you know, I think if you want to hit fast forward and fast forward through this, you're more than welcome to. I'm kind of hoping to keep this video about 20 minutes. And um, so we'll see how that works. I love these roses at the top. So I definitely am going to throw these roses up here. And so you can see that this isn't going to cover everything. That's okay. We're going to come back in and we'll definitely do some other fillers in here. So I'm going to just line that up a little bit off the, uh, the thing. And I'm going to just throw a wee bit of black right there. That's too much. There we go. Let's just go over all of this again, and I'm going to throw a little piece of black right there. I think that looks really awesome. So let's go back and let's get some more B paper. So I love this. This is fun. And I'm just going to tear this down like that. And then, hmm, looks like I completely tore that the wrong way. So we just go back and we fix that. There we go. Now I have a piece that will go off the edge over here. And we're just going to glue that down. Do I? Yep, I do. I was worried that I suddenly had stuck that kind of sort of the wrong way and was going to be too in too much in the wrong place and so what I'm lo I lo I'm looking for is there's a lot of blank space but I love these black ink splooges so I just want to put some of these black ink splooges on here as well so I think we're going to throw this piece here. A little bit off the edge, and so now we've got some ink splooge there. And then I think I want a little bit more book piece. Um, now, let's hold off on the book piece. So I'm going to keep layering some more of this paper. Um, let's use this corner down here. And I think I'm going to go this way. And yep, we're going to lose a little bit of that flower, but I may just use that up in there. So as you can see, there is no right way to do this. I know some people go ahead and they lay everything out and they know exactly what's going to go where. Um, nope, just 
not going to do that. So that's going to go there. A little bit of collage medium over the top to seal it all. And then I need some more, so no, nope, that's not going to work there. I think I'm going to hold off on using more of that right now. And so as you can see, I kind of have the top all done. The top is completely finished all the way across. And now I'm just going back and filling in. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and fill stuff in and not bore you with watching this. And I will speed this up through the magic of editing.
All right, now I'm back. And I'm actually really happy with this the way, the way this turned out. So we're going to set this aside and just let this sit and dry for right now.